We're now three months into the renovation of our master suite and this week is very exciting because we've just received this box of paint samples. So we're gonna start deciding on the colors for the rooms and we are also going to be designing the furniture for the bathroom and the dressing room. And as if this wasn't enough to make this video super viral, I'm gonna perform live on camera just for you some super exciting and professionally executed tasks involving waste pipes and plasterboard. So watch me as well, please. I'm not gonna lie, I've been trying to motivate myself to get in here all day and it is now about 1.30. But the reason is, it's absolutely freezing in here. It's minus one degrees outside today and it's not that much warmer in here because we don't really have the heating on. But I really need to get going because I need to measure up this wall here for building our built-in wardrobe. First off, I need a measuring tool. The idea is we want to create some symmetry on the other side of the wall using these cupboards, these existing cupboard doors. So we're going to try to reference those and have the same sort of design that's on these ones as on the new ones. And these cupboards here, I think we're going, as they're very narrow, they're only, how wide? Yeah, it's only like 38 centimeters wide. I think for those, drawers there, those cupboards there I think could be ideal for perhaps shoes, bags, that sort of thing. Do you think that I should mirror the same cupboards on the other side or should I just create new cupboards which are a little bit lower doors so that I can have more access to the higher cupboards? So many decisions, it's like crazy. We've got to think about the tiles, we've got to think about the bathroom fixtures and finishings, the flooring, the paint colors. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit overwhelmed at the moment. If I look like the handsome version of George Clooney in Gravity, it's because I'm on a decontamination mission. You remember this room was full of lead paint, Anna scratched it off, now we have lead dust everywhere. This is not good for our health and I volunteered to clean up the mess. Why is it me? Why not Anna? I hear you asking. Well, it's because I'm an excellent husband. Anyways, I'm going to clean this room as good as I can and then I can call the dog back and the kids. Yes, that's where they sleep when we have guests or when we are fed up with the permanent questions about the universe and the meaning of life. What are you doing? I'm planning the sink situation here. And I made a drawing, a precision drawing. Mm-hmm. Can I show you? Can you see it? Can the camera see it? Can uh, our, come a bit closer. Can our fans see it? Can, okay. can everybody see how perfect it is? No, I think you need to come closer. Closer, 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 closer. You can see that. What yeah. do you think? I think it looks quite nice. I mean, I did have to help you modify it, didn't I? The, yeah, we don't need to talk about it. I, I did the drawing, doesn't matter how we got there. With my help. Because this is just a free, free drawing, yeah. free, stri free style drawing. Yeah. I need to now add, add measurements, proper measurements. Our plumber has finished all the incoming pipes, warm water and cold water, so I can finally finish the waste pipes for the sink on this side and the bathtub on this side. Isn't 
isn't that a thing of beauty? Looks a bit like the devil. I forgot that I have an electrical tool for this. It's much faster. Silly me. You might be wondering what I'm doing, but I'm just removing the old plaster here so I have space for my pipes behind the plasterboard wall. Things had to shut to take longer than expected. It took me half a day to just put this pipe in place. As you can see, I had to remove the frame because it was too close to the wall, so the pipe was a little bit squeezed. Now I have to do this side and probably have to remove this as well. This stone here, you see? Locked here. But if I take the whole stone out, I take a bit of the wall out. I don't want to do that either. proud of this. I mean, they call me Waste Pipe Philip for a reason. I really like the smell of this. I wonder if the glue is the reason why I like waste pipes. Sometimes I sit down Smell a bit, watch a film on TV, smell again, and then Anna joins in with the kids and we smell all together and share. It's important to do nice things with the family. I'm just joking. Anna never joins in. Most of you are here for my guidance, 
spiritually of course, but also practically. And a lot of you followers, or as I like to call you, disciples, will ask, Philip, how can we trust you if there is suffering in this house, if there are cracks in the plasterboard? And my answer has to be, fear not, for I might not provide you with the key to plasterboard perfection, but I will lead you to truth and redemption when it comes to your homepage with the help of Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build a stunning online presence, which also happens to be this week's ad. You really don't need to have any programming skills or even particular computer skills to create a web page with Squarespace. You simply choose from their vast catalog of templates and then you add your text and images and you're done. It's a perfect solution if you want to build a web shop for your e-commerce business or if you need to share some work with your clients using customizable galleries. If you want, you can even buy a domain from Squarespace, which keeps everything in one place. Plus, there's no hidden cost with them. So if you would like to create or rebuild your own web page, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a chateau for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I just received a package with all of my testers to start trying out paint colors. When you're looking for paint colors for a room, you get like this really tiny, small piece of color on your color card. So it's really hard to decide on colors. So what I always do is I take my testers and I paint them onto an A3 size like this. And then it's much easier when you're looking on a wall, you can sort of place it like this and you can tape it up on the wall, you can try it on different walls, you can ha leave them up on the wall and then you can have a look at them at different times of day. share with you the plans for the dressing room cupboards that I've designed. For some reason it took a lot of time to get right but I think I've come up with a design that I'm happy with. Can I see? Yeah I mean it looks pretty easy and simple. See I've made I've maximized the use of hanging space because in my opinion I've never got enough hanging. So we've got quite a lot of um, hanging for obviously coats, dresses, I've got shirts, half would be for me, this half is for you. Probably I'll end up also sealing this one as well. So right. let's say it's like this, for okay. me and for you. These hanging spaces up here are gonna be very high. As you can see, I can't reach. <laughs> now, I know that there are solutions. You can get these kind of contraptions that you can pull down to access your shirts but I haven't found any that I like. I think they're quite ugly. So if somebody comes up with some really beautiful brass ones, that would be great. Or any other idea how to access this? I haven't got that many drawers. We've just got a few on the bottom and some shelving at the top. But my idea is, well, we've spoken about this. We're gonna have an island in the middle here where we're gonna have much more drawer space. You will see that we've made some good progress in this bedroom. And that is thanks to my dad. When my parents were here, he did some great work. He spent about four days uh, priming, prepping all of these wood paneling, all the paneling around the edge of the room. Unfortunately, Dad, we somehow lost the footage. Very sorry about that. I'm blaming Philip. I'm not sure what happened. My mum also worked really hard. She was working in the dressing room, removing all that disgusting plastic covering that they had put everywhere, all over the walls and the wooden shelving. So thank you, mum and dad. Yeah, so we've got some really beautiful sort of soft yellow colors. I'm also intrigued to try some of these more neutral ones. And I'm most excited about this one, but a little nervous as well, because it's very 
It's very brown, but it's a kind of beautiful brown. I remember we had, when we first revealed this colour under here, and a lot of people got excited, and I was like, no way, I would never go anything near there. And look what I've got. Well, it has a bit like red. This is more of an aubergine, and this is more brownie, but to be honest, I'm not feeling this chocolate colour, this ganache. I'm, I, I think it's a little bit too brown for me. So it's actually really beautiful and sunny today. You'll see that we are south facing in this bedroom. So we get lots of sunlight. So I feel like we could probably go quite dark if we wanted to. It's funny because I, I feel that strong colors here work really well. It's always in these south facing rooms. If you have a, a strong color, it works better than a, a pale color. Almost disappears in the sun. This one, for instance, for me, it disappears. Really? It's not really interesting. Okay. Yeah. This is more gray. This I really don't like. Really? No. This is too, it's too cold. yeah, it's too cold and it has a bit green in it. It okay. doesn't work here. It's so this one is Madeline. It's so interesting, you really have to make these big samples in order to see the color, right? Yeah, yeah. I quite like the name Madeline. Madeline? It's inspired by the Marcel Proust. Um, oh, the Madeline of Marcel Proust. Yeah. For those who don't know what the Madeline of Marcel Proust is. Go read the book. Go, go read the book. <laughs> no, I've never read it though. I should. So it's a famous French poet, and he wrote a novel called A la recherche de temps perdu, In Search of the Lost Time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the English translation. Anyways, famous scene, he tries a Madeleine, and this Madeleine, which is a little patisserie, reminds him the Madeleine of his grandma, if I remember well. So it's a very nostalgic, poetic passage. It's a very passage. nostalgic. It became a thing. It became like the Madeleine is in France. It's, everybody knows the Madeleine of Proust, so when you have a a moment where you suddenly something triggers a memory. It's a Proust, it's a Madeleine moment. Maybe the chocolate colour isn't it? Is that the chocolate? I don't know. Yeah, that's like this dark, dark brown. That's quite nice, isn't it? So we could have, what would you do? You have like the panelling at the bottom in this colour. No, then have all, a all in this colour. Everything and this, in that. And the top part as a wallpaper with this on top on of top. this. You, ideally, I would like to have found some kind of artwork that could inspire the colour scheme, but for now I haven't found anything. But I just wanted to have a look how this looks against this, and I quite like it with, the, with this yellowy colour. I think it looks pretty. It looks nice, the black. Yeah. With that yellow, definitely. And how would it look on the, on the red one? Oh, also very nice. I think we need to investigate further, but I'm really happy about the general palette that you've chosen. I like it. What do you guys think? Should we go for this tone or for something in yellow? For this room, I'm talking about this room. I think that could look really, really nice. This is an old sample, Harley Green. It's a little bit dirty, but I think it works really beautifully with yeah. the yellows or equally with the... Let's yeah. not call it brown. We're going to call it Muscovado. Muscovado? What That's does that mean? That's the name of it. It's like a sugar. Oh. Let's see in the bathroom how the blue would look like. It might be a little bit too dark. In here, I think it's a little bit too dark. It's almost, it becomes almost black in here, doesn't it? Yeah, but I like it. Hello. What's this? What do you mean? Oh, because I used, um, I found this old piece of plasterboard. I didn't want it to waste it, so I had the right size. I put, I used it. I saved us some money. Don't look at me like that. We're not going to make a final decision today, I think, but I feel like we're onto a good start. I would be really interested to hear what you guys think. And now I'm going to continue doing a bit more sampling, maybe try out one of my prints on top of these colors to see how that could look.